Can you hear me, Arush? Please let me know.
you hear me, Arish? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to start. Just give me one or two minutes. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, like everyone, whoever will join over here, they will turn on their camera. Okay. So okay. you also, if you need to fix anything, the background or anything, you can fix it. Meanwhile, okay. Okay. Okay, Arish. Yes, Afnan, please turn on your camera. And what happened last class? Afnan? Yes, ma'am. Why you shared the link with other students? I didn't share, ma'am. He was clearly accusing me of sharing, but I didn't share to anyone. From like randomly, from where all of a sudden, uh, such a like uh, stupid student came. Okay, uh, if you have not shared, it's okay. Please, from today onwards, in my like from that day onwards, in my all the batches, every student is just keeping their camera on throughout the class. Okay, and the same instruction for you as well for you all. Abdul, Afnan, Aris, fix your fix your background and please turn on your camera, and then I'm going to start. are looking after in the, this matter who, who has done exactly who have shared the link to the outside person okay we are figuring it out and once we will see whoever in this batch this is the first time something has happened like this okay so we are seeing who, who has done exactly This device of none if you don't have camera is it possible to join with other device or from the next class from the next class fix this issue is it possible for you okay so yes from the next class, I will not be asking anyone, please turn on your camera, please turn on your camera. You have to turn it on by yourself once I am starting the class. Before that, you can keep it off. Doesn't matter. Okay? So, let's continue. B. Yes, Abdul. You. Have you turned on your camera? Abdul? It's not even yes. showing camera over here. Yes, now it's showing. Yes, please keep it on. Keep it on. Yeah. Don't off it, Abdul. Or if you need to fix anything, just fix it and then turn it on. Okay? And let's continue. So here we were discussing this question. A circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope. There is a 20 meter long rope. Rope is there so we can, we can stretch the rope and we can keep it anyway. We can keep it horizontally on the ground. We can stretch it and we can show that the rope is vertical. Okay. A straight line. Or we can show the rope like AC. AC is a rope over here. Okay. AC is a rope over here. And it is just stretched this ac this is nothing but just a rope okay which is
which is just a second a circus a circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope so the figure is already shown here ac is the 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tied to the top of a vertical okay vertical pole so the this rope ac is stretched tightly and is it is tied to a vertical pole so basically this ab is a pole so from from now onward whenever we will see the word pole we must, we have to identify that ab is the pole ab is the pole and from now onward whenever we will see this terminology this word rope we have to understand ac is the rope ac is the rope and ab is the pole okay now it is tied from the top of the vertical pole to the ground find the height of the pole so basically we have to find the height of the pole ab we have to find we have to find height of pole ab height of pole ab we have to find okay what is given over here if the angle made by the rope again can you see rope terminology is there if initially you will not try understanding which one is the rope you will end up getting confused over here so this question rope and pole is there but in next few question you will be having pole tower okay tower bridge so this type of terminology will be there which you have to identify at first only which one is the tower which one is the pole which one is the building okay so here rope is there we have to find the height of the pole if the angle made by the rope if the angle made by the rope however the angle is represented over here but we are going to do the next question also where the figure is not at all given okay so here it says that if the angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degree okay angle made by the rope with the ground is 30 degree let's continue in this triangle in this triangle abc which is right angle triangle now who said to us it is right angle triangle because there is a pole is standing a vertical pole is standing and whenever we are talking about a pole a vertical pole is standing like this we will always take that the pole the building the tower the chimney it is standing at 90 degree with the ground it is making 90 degree with the ground okay so that's how we are assuming this pole okay and we have to find the height of the pole ab so in this right angle triangle we have to find the side side ab length side ab length we have to find where where triangle ab c is a right angle triangle we can see b b is 90 degree over here so we can use the concept of we can use if if you want you can use pythagoras theorem and if you want you can use trigonometric ratio because we are having right angle triangle so whenever whenever we will see whether pythagoras theorem will help whether any trigonometric ratio will help so angle is also given so of course we have to think about trigonometric ratio now here let me tell you that in this right angle triangle abc it is given that it is given that side ac is 20 meter side ac is 20 meter and we have to find side ab so accordingly we will be choosing such a trigonometric ratio where side ac and ab is involved side ac and side ab is involved such a trigonometric ratio we are going to figure it out whether it sin theta can be used whether cos theta can be used whether tan theta can be used or not okay so angle is given over here 30 degree now ab ab is adjacent side or opposite side ab is adjacent side or opposite side is it adjacent side or opposite side who will say if angle 30 degree is mentioned over here then ab is adjacent side or opposite side it is opposite side are you getting it arish arish yes opposite to this one 
there is a side AB and I was asking AB side is adjacent side or opposite side. So opposite to the angle it is there. So it is opposite side. Now which one is adjacent side? So side where 90 degree is there and angle is there. That side is always called adjacent side. Okay. Such a side where 90 degree is there and angle the angle which is mentioned in the question that angle is represented over there. Such side is called adjacent side. So here side BC is the adjacent side. And we have to focus on side AB. Why AB? Because we need to find the length of the pole. Okay, the height of the pole we have to find. Check it. Height of the pole in the question it is mentioned. So we have to find the height of the pole. That's why AB. We are supposed to use this AB. Then only we will be able to use, find the height of the pole. Okay. And AC. AC is already given 20 meter. So this two side definitely we must use. Okay. And the trigonometric ratio we realize that AB is opposite side. And AC is, AC is, R is, you are going to say. AC is. Hypotenuse or what? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Okay. So AC is hypotenuse. Now RS you will only say that such a trigonometric ratio where opposite and hypotenuse is involved. Which trigonometric ratio is that? Sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, which one? Yes, Arish. Abdul. Do you know sin theta is equals to opposite over hypotenuse? Afnan? Afnan, are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, such a trigonometric ratio where opposite and hypotenuse is involved and that trigonometric ratio is sin theta or maybe or maybe cos theta, they are also hypotenuse is there and opposite side is there. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so either we can use sin theta or we can use cos theta. Any, any one you can use over here. Let's use sin theta, sin 30 degree, sin 30 degree. Okay, sin 30 degree is equals to opposite side that is AP. And hypotenuse that is AC. Okay. Sin 30 degree. What is the value for sin 30? Trigonometric table. What is the result for sin 30? One by two. Perfect. AB. We don't know. That's what we, we are supposed to find the height of AB, the length of AB and AC. AC we know the, the rope is stretched. 20 meter rope is stretched. So AC is nothing but 20 meter rope. Now is it possible to find AB from here? Please find it. Please find it. What will be AB? 10. It will be 10 meter. Okay, the height of the pole is 10 meter. Everyone getting it? Yes, ma'am. Are you getting Arish? Yes. Okay, the height of the pole is 10 meter. We found it. Abdul, are you getting it? Abdul? Yes. Okay, so this is how we'll be finding the required height. You just have to focus that what information you are having in hand and what you need to find and accordingly you will be using the trigonometric ratio. That's it. Okay, let's do the next question. A tree... Uh, C. Aris, uh, quickly note it down. No? I am writing over here. Sign. Sign will be opposite over hypotenuse. Cos will be. A 
Sin theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan is tan theta is opposite over opposite over adjacent. Cot theta is just the reciprocal of tan. That means adjacent over opposite. Sec theta is just the reciprocal of cos. That means hypotenuse. Pi adjacent. And cosec theta will be just the reciprocal of sine. That means hypotenuse by opposite. Okay, so this is how we are having the formula for each and every trigon trigonometric ratio. Here I will, uh, I can see if you can see over here that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, cos and cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan. Tan means sine by cos. So from there we are getting opposite over adjacent. Cot is just the reciprocal of tan. So from there we are getting adjacent over opposite. Okay. Sec, sec is just the reciprocal of cos. So from there we are getting hypotenuse over adjacent. And cosec is just the reciprocal of sine theta. So from there only we are getting the just the reciprocal. Reciprocal means numerator will be denominator. If, if anyone will say, what is the reciprocal of 2 by 5? We will say it is 5 by 2. Okay. Similarly, for sine, the formula is, for sine, the formula is opposite side over hypotenuse. And for cosec, cosec is just the reciprocal of sine. That means hypotenuse by opposite. Okay. Similarly, cos is cos is adjacent over adjacent over hypotenuse, and sec is just the reciprocal of cos. That means hypotenuse over adjacent. Similarly, similarly, tan is tan is the combination of sine and cos. Tan means sine by cos, and if you will substitute the formula over here, that is opposite by hypotenuse over adjacent over hypotenuse you will be getting from here opposite over adjacent after doing the simplification and we know that we know that cot is just the reciprocal of tan so cot means adjacent over opposite any confusion so far to anyone Yes, Zunad, we have started the application of trigonometry and the introduction I have given in the previous class. Zunad? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, and from today onwards, everyone is going to keep their camera on during the class. So please, you also, if you need to fix anything, Zunad, please fix it. Please fix it and yeah, please turn it off. Fix what? Could you repeat that? I didn't hear you properly. I say that if you need to fix the background, you can fix it and then please turn on the camera. Okay. Oh, oh, it's already it's on. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. fine okay. No worry. okay, it's already on. I can see it. Thank you so much. That's done. So, yes. Uh, Last few minutes, I'll be explaining you the briefly what was the introduction and everything. 
So let's continue with the next question. Breaks. Due to a storm and the broken. Hard fence so that the top of the tree touches the ground, making an angle. Twenty degree with it the distance between the foot of the tree to the point. Where the top touches the ground is eight meter high, the height. Okay, let's do it. Figure is not given over here. Okay, so now I'll be explaining you towards the last of this class that what exactly we are doing over here. Since we have already discussed trigonometry, so the concept, how we will solve the question, believe me, you will be getting it. Okay, but a okay. little bit little bit of explanation of course it is required that i am going to give it towards the last okay okay thank you okay. yeah uh, well so here we are having a tree figure is not given so at first we will we will try making a figure a story problem or what problem is given over a tree is there which breaks due to a storm this is real life scenario we have seen so many times that tree just got broken and just falling like it's falling like this. Let me take. At first, at first, maybe the tree was like this. Maybe the let me take. At first, maybe the tree is like this. Can you see the downward part and the upward part? Can you see it? Maybe maybe the tree is like this and after falling it just became like this. Have you seen such tree? Due to storm and all. Have you seen such scenario? At first it was like this. A part of that broken. A part is broken. The complete tree is not lying like this. No. A part of the tree. A part of the tree got like initially it was like this. And now it got broken and it is just lying like this, touching the ground. This part is touching the ground. Are you getting it? And taking a shape of triangle. Can you see it? Can you see me on the screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's what the whole scenario says. Okay. Let's continue. A tree breaks due to storm and the broken. Uh, yes, Abdul, you are uh, also going to wait towards the last. A tree breaks due to storm and broken part bent so that 
so that top of the tree touches the ground making an angle 30 degree so we were having a tree and it got it just broken and hanging like this okay previously this was the top part of the tree but now the broken part is lying like this okay see a tree breaks due to storm the broken part bend so that the top of the tree touches the ground top is now touching the ground and making an angle 30 degree with it so this top part is making an angle 30 degree with the ground so far is it clear to everyone yes is yeah. it clear okay the distance between the foot of the tree the distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches this is the foot of the tree this is the foot of the tree okay initially initially tree was like straight okay a to b like this and here somewhere c point is there from there it just got broken and now it is now the shape is like this okay the distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches is 8 meter so this distance is 8 meter distance between a point and b point is 8 meter the foot of the tree and to the point where the top is now touching that distance is 8 meter now we what we have to find find the height of the tree okay we have to find the height of the tree that means that means this height here. just a moment let me check whether the original the original height we are supposed to find over here or uh, the broken the remaining part height will be fine just a second let me read it carefully anywhere it uh, is there anything mentioned in the question which suggests that we need to take the original height or what a tree break due to strong the broken part bent Here, here, this this much information is given, and it, it says find the height of the tree. That means that means originally, originally, what was the height of this particular tree? From A to B, the tree was there. What was the original height? So can we say in this triangle? Now it has taken the shape of the triangle. And if we will focus in this triangle, if anyhow in this right angle triangle why we are saying it's right angle triangle because in this chapter to you Zunayad I am explaining that whenever a building is standing a chimney is standing a tower is standing a tree is standing we are taking it like everything whatever is standing vertically that is making 90 degree with the ground that's why we are going to name this triangle a right angle triangle okay Zunayad okay okay so so we are having a right angle triangle over here and we have to find the original the original height of the tree that means that means if we will find ac and then we will find bc and both if we will add them together we will be getting the original height of the tree yes or no if any any way in this triangle just focus on triangle if any way we will find the length of ac and then if any way we will be finding bc and if uh, we will add them after finding then it will be the complete length of the tree ac plus bc yes or no yes or no zutan uh, abdul afnan has already responded Arish. Yes. Okay. Yes. So let's try finding AC and BC. B 
we have to find ac also and we have to find bc also in this right angle triangle ac also we are we will focus on finding and bc also we will focus on finding what information we are having in hand ab we already know ab side in this right angle triangle ab side is 8 meter okay we know that ab side is 8 meter now i was explaining that here we need to use the trigonometric ratio to find the unknown side's length okay but we will focus what is given what information we are having in hand the given data and what what we exactly we have to find so we have to focus on two thing the given part the finding part the given part the finding part given part finding part okay given is ab finding is ac now angle is given 30 degree over here so according to this angle given ab side is adjacent side opposite side or hypotenuse or what ab is ab is ab it is adjacent side opposite side hypotenuse or what in this right angle triangle abc where angle 30 degree is mentioned angle 30 degree is mentioned ab is adjacent 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 side ab is adjacent side okay and ac the finding part that is opposite or opposite or hypotenuse opposite 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 okay so again i would repeat we have to focus on given part finding part given part finding part opposite adjacent opposite adjacent which, which trigonometric ratio can be used over here now arish and abdul will respond arish which trigonometric ratio can be used over here opposite and adjacent where opposite and adjacent should be involved tan theta tan theta tan theta, tan theta. perfect Okay, we can take tan theta opposite, opposite over adjacent. Who is trying to do it? Opposite over adjacent. Okay, tan theta is opposite over adjacent. since opposite we have to find adjacent we are having in hand 30 degree is known to us tan 30 we will be writing over here is equals to opposite is ac which we are supposed to find adjacent is 8 meter and what is the value for tan 30 degree tan 30 is tan 30 is sin 30 by cos 30 right okay. Sin thirty is one by two, and cos thirty is root three by two. Now tell me, tan thirty is one by root three. One by root three. Okay, in your trigonometric table also directly the value is given. From there we can use it directly also. AC is this. Can we say AC is eight by root three meter? Can we? Can we? Can we? Everyone getting it? Yes, yes, Abdul. We realize that opposite side and adjacent side are involved over here. Then we can use tan theta or maybe cot theta. We have to use tan theta over here, and we found the AC side. Now we will be finding the AB side. Uh, sorry, BC side. Okay, BC we will be finding, and AB is given. Okay, BC we will find, and AB is given. What is BC over here? This is finding part, and this is given part. Okay, BC. In this right angle triangle, BC is hypotenuse, adjacent, opposite. What? BC, BC. Hypotenuse. 
hypotenuse. AB is adjacent. Already we have figured it out, right? According to 30 degree, AB is adjacent side, right? Now we have to use such a trigonometric ratio where hypotenuse and adjacent must be there. Must be there. Numerator, denominator doesn't matter. Must be there. Hypotenuse adjacent. Which trigonometric ratio can we use over here? Cos theta. Cos theta. We can use cos 30 degree. Again, the same angle is equals to equals to adjacent side. Adjacent side over hypotenuse. So here adjacent side is AB. That is 8 meter. And hypotenuse still we have to find BC. Okay. For that only we are using cos 30. What is the value for cos 30? Value for cos 30 is value for cos 30 degrees. Now only I have written tan 30 means sin 30 by cos 30. Cos 30 is cos 30 is root 3 by 2 is equals to 8 by BC. Let's find BC from here. What will be the value for BC? Root 3 and all, you have to keep it as it is. Now tell me what is the value of BC? Arish, Abdul, Sunad and Afnan. What is BC? Four root three. Four root three. Everyone getting it? How we got four root three? Abdul, are you getting Abdul? Crisscross multiplication. Is it four root three? But I cannot see it's four root three. Is it four root three? Is it so? Is it so? Or 16 by root 3? BC is there in the denominator. And to find the value of BC, we need to keep it in the numerator's part. How can we do so? Cross cross multiplication. Whenever fraction and fraction, like on the, on the right side, suppose we are having something like this. Suppose we are having 1 by Suppose we are having 3 by x is equals to 2 by 5. And I am telling you find the value of x from here. How you will be finding? At first we need to keep this x in the numerator's part. Right? Right? Then only we will think about keeping it separately on one side. Right? Isolating this x. So let's do, let's shift this x to the other side. Okay. So this, this x will go to the other side and will get multiplied with 2. Similarly, this 5 will come to this side and will get multiplied with 3. Is it making sense to you all? Yeah. And x will be 5, 3 times 15 by 2. Getting it? If you are getting this one, then a similar situation we are having. Root 3 by 2 is equals to 8 by BC. We have to find BC. So at first we must keep BC in the numerator's part, right? Whenever it is already there in the numerator, then we don't have to think about keeping it in numerator or what. Okay? If BC will be sitting in the numerator, then remaining term we will try shifting on the other side. But here BC is sitting in the denominator. If you will just shift the other terms on the uh, other side, then you will be getting answer in this form. Which we don't want. We want BC is equals to. We don't want 1 by BC. Yes or no? Yes or no? Ari, Shabdul, Zunad, Afnan. Are you getting it? Yes. 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 Okay, so 
we will be shifting this BC at first on the other side. Why? So that at first, let's bring it in the numerator's part. This is what we are having. This 2, we will be shifting to the other side. It will get multiplied with 8. BC will be 16 by 3. Getting it? Getting it? Yeah. If BC is 16 by root 3, then what we have to do here, we have to find the length of the tree. Length of the tree. The tree originally, whatever was the height of the tree, I am saying it. Whatever was the height of that tree originally, that we have to find over here. Okay? So I was showing you that originally, originally, just a second. we got 16 by root 3 and the original length of the tree which I was showing you just now that we are having a tree in this format okay and then it has taken a second Or, or let me explain it in the question. So originally the tree was like this. Okay. This is A. This is this is B. And here C is there. This is the original tree. Okay. You can give it a shape like this. This is a tree. Now due to a storm, tree had has just tree suspended from C and it is touching the ground. So this part is touching the ground and B is here and length of the tree we have to find that means the complete length of the tree. Now only we found AC and we check that AC is 8 by root 3. Now only we found BC and we found BC is 16 by root 3. If we will add AC plus BC we will be getting the length of the tree. Yes or no? Yes or no? The original length of tree will be getting once we will add AC plus BC. Yes or no? Everyone getting it? Yes. Yes. How, how to add this two? What will be the LCM? What will be the LCM over here? So, Nath, what will be the LCM, so Nath? 8 multiplied by 8, 3, 3, 3. They might be like 8, 3, 8. There is a common factor. Can you see, so Nath? Yeah. Just root 3 is the LCM. Everyone getting it? If the denominator is same, then we can add the fraction as it is. Do you know that? If I will give you 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2, what you will do? 4 by 2 directly you will write. Right? Yes or no? If the denominator is same, that is the LCM. And directly we can work on adding the numerator or subtracting the numerator, simplifying the numerator. So here root 3, root 3 is there. LCM is root 3. And in numerator we will be having 8 plus 16. Arish, getting it? Yes. Okay, so 8 plus 16 is what? Eight plus sixteen is what? Yes, eight plus sixteen is what? Twenty four. Twenty four. Five. Okay. Is it possible to do the rationalization work? Do you know the concept of rationalization? Sunad, Arish, Abdullah, Nafnan. Yes. Let's rationalize. Let's rationalize it. Here we will write length of tree. Is 
equals to AC plus BC. Add it and show it. Directly I am writing 24 by root 3. Let's focus on rationalizing this one. Rationalizing means what? Rationalizing means removing the square root term from the denominator. Which you have learned in class 9 maybe. So removing the square root 3 from the denominator. Due to, due to that if numerator will be having a square root term that is fine in mathematics in mathematics whenever you are getting answer like this answer like 15 by 24 how quick quick you do the cancellation 3 5 times 15 3 8 times 24 5 by 8 is the answer you never leave answer like this 15 by 24 right you say that 5 by 8 is the answer similarly from today onwards okay Remember it that whenever we are having root, square root term in the denominator, quick, quick, we will be doing the rationalization. Okay. And we will write the rationalized answer that is root 3 by only 3. This is answer. Root, square root is acceptable in the numerator's part, but not in the denominator part. Okay. This is just the standard way of representing our answer. That's why you have learned the rationalization in the previous class. Getting it? Getting it? Rationalization means what? If you are having 1 by root 2, you have to remove this square root sign from the denominator by doing anything, anything possible. So one thing which is possible over here, let's do the multiplication of root 2 in the denominator. But once we are doing the multiplication of root 2 in the denominator, we are bound to multiply the same in the numerator because that's what the rule of fraction is. Whatever you are multiplying in the denominator, multiply it in the numerator. Whatever you are doing with numerator, do it with the denominator. Fraction says that I am okay with everything. But one condition is there if you are multiplying, dividing anything with the numerator's term, you are supposed to do the same thing in the denominator. And if you are doing any multiplication or division in the denominator, you are supposed, you are bound to do the same in the denominator. That, that much is acceptable. Okay. So, we, we wanted to multiply root 2 in the denominator, but we are bound to multiply this root 2 in the numerator also. And hence, we got root 2 into 1, root 2 in the numerator. And denominator root 2 into root 2. See, in denominator root 2 into root 2, both will collaborate and will come inside one root sign and will make a pair. That means only 2 is the answer. In denominator, only 2 will be the answer. And by doing this, we are, we, we, we have successfully removed the square root sign from the denominator. That's what we wanted. But due to that one square root came in the numerator, what to do with that? That is completely okay. That is completely okay. Numerator is square root term. It's fine. But not in denominator. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here also we will do the rationalization. 24 by root 3 is the final answer. But standard format says that remove square root from the denominator. So we will remove it. We will multiply root 3 and root 3 with the numerator and denominator. Are you getting it? Due to that, in numerator it became 24 root 3 and in denominator it became only 3. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Let's cancel 3 with 24. Answer will be how many times 3 will cancel out 24? 3. 1 eight. times 3, 3, 8 times. Okay. So, 8 root 3 is the final answer. So, getting it. This is the complete length of the tree. Is it crystal clear to all of you? At first, we have drawn the figure. How? By ourselves. Then we realize it took the shape of right angle triangle. Then we have... We were focusing on the given part, finding part, given part, finding part. And we were thinking about which trigonometric ratio can be used. So here, accordingly, we have used it. Accordingly, we have used it. Same for the other scenario also. 
and hence we are finding the length of the tree by adding this two length. 